Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I am your host, Noelle McAvoy. And I am Asaf Adonai. That was Scott Ramp on piano. Scott, what song was that? Well, I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> that was uh, <laughs> a song I just kind of made up on the spot. Well, that wow. sounds very nice for a nice opening there. Very talented. Today, it's Freaky Friday at Missoula. Freak. And we're uh, at Wake Up Missoula, in, mm -hmm. in Missoula in general. Yeah. yeah. Switching gears. It's yeah. Scott on piano, ASAP. Yeah, all right. yeah, this is cool. Uh, let's mm -hmm. see what it's like to stand in this position here. Cool. <laughs> it's pretty fun, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, well, we have a great show for you guys. We've got new programming, weather as always, uh, community events for today and tomorrow, musical notes with ASAP. Who's mm -hmm. your guest today, ASAP? Um, we're going to do a story on underdog, nice. the history of underdog. Nice. And then we've also got a flagship Friday. Video. Yes, indeed. Um, and what what is going on with this video? Well, stuff? the inspiration was behind um, Mary Poppins. What some of the kids were in Mary Poppins, the play that was playing, which is no longer going on at the MCT. Mm -hmm. They just wrapped up last weekend, from what I remember. Great. So yeah, um, that and you guys get to see what it's inspired from. Cool. Oh, great! I can't wait. So the oh. weather. Let's talk a little bit about the weather. If you uh, go yes, to camera that's, number four. That's what I was about to do, Scott. Thank you. This is looking even rainier. All right. Well, if we take a look at the weather, it's uh, 43 degrees currently. Uh, today is going to be a high of 56. We have a 70 percent chance of showers, and it looks like it'll continue on through the weekend into the beginning of the week. Showers all weekend long. It's gonna be 56 tomorrow and a high of 55 on Sunday. Get your raincoats out, everyone. Yeah. It's right. gonna be cold, yeah. <laughs> but you don't have to wear your raincoats to find out more information about us. So if you wanna find out more information about Wake Up Missoula, you can check us out on our website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. You can like us on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. Yep. Yeah. Do you want to talk about MCAT's Twitter? No, I'll let you do that. I'll just okay. Okay, so you go to MCAT's Twitter. You go to uh, yeah. at MCAT TV Missoula to follow us on Twitter. You can also go to our Facebook page. MCAT has a Facebook page. It's crazy. Go to Missoula Community Access Television. Or you can just go to MCAT.org yeah. for more information, which is a great resource because you can watch all sorts of stuff and you can check out what's new happening on MCAT. And before I let you go off of my sweet sounds of piano, mm -hmm. I'm going to show you the um, clips of what the new programming that's happening um, tonight and tomorrow night on MCAT, which features music, of course, which is perfect for this this nice freaky Friday. So without further ado, um, here's what you guys can expect tonight on MCAT. <laughs> announcement to make yeah um, the story I did on Johnny Erickson Tata the lady that became a quadriplegic when she was 17 she contacted me yesterday well actually all of us she saw the story we all did on her and just wanted to acknowledge that I thought that was pretty cool Cool. yeah that's neat that she got back to you yeah and it was uh, I knew it was from her even though she didn't physically write it because she said thanks for the story on the musical notes on wake up Missoula mm -hmm. well the I nice thing about technology so cool. is that she she could have wrote it 
for sure. Well, because yeah, there's sure. a I mean, like um, now Google has a voice command, so you don't actually have to type it yourself. But you can hit a voice thing, and it records your uh -huh. your words in writing. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was pretty cool that this lady would take time to do this. I wanted to just and acknowledge her. And so, did her. you send her the episode, or did she just come across it? No, I sent the information, but you know, she, her her work is so worldwide. I didn't think she'd see yeah. it. Yeah. And she did. That's so crazy. That, that is wild. That's really awesome, Mesa. And she mentioned Wake Up Missoula by name, so yeah. that's pretty cool. And cool. it's really nice, especially like, it shows a lot of character for a lot of like people who always acknowledge the little guy. I yeah. guess I do acknowledge their fans. I do too. That's that's one reason I really like Taylor Swift, is because she always acknowledges her fans and gives them money when they have diseases. Uh -huh. I'm like, yeah, T Swift, you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't exactly like her music, but I like her as a person. Nice, Asa, that's cool. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. that's neat. Well, uh, the weekend is upon us, uh, so I guess I have community events. I was going to ask Scott what he was doing, but... Nothing. You already covered everything. What are you doing this weekend? Oh, what am I doing this weekend? God, that is a great question. I am probably going to go um, have some... Um, I'm going to go out, get some lunch with my dad, mm -hmm. and my dad's going to take me to a movie. My dad always like Sounds great. And then we're going to go see that movie with Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling, The, the Nice Guys. Is it The Nice Guys? I really want to see that, too. It looks really funny. And it does look funny. I, I, I mean, agree. like, the critics are already giving it gl glowing scores and all that stuff. So we'll cool. see how it turns out. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because apparently the new Angry Birds movie just came out over the night. So it's, it's going to be a nice kids movie. It's weird that they made a movie about the Angry Birds. Oh, well, exactly. Um, the same thing about Warcraft. It's it's a year for all World the, like, Warcraft. video games or, like, all these, like, online um, multi-platform games for people. That's They're making all so these weird. movies, and um, from what everyone can tell you is that um, um, movies based on games never work out. No, I mean they've never been like the, you know they sure they the might Halo make money. Movie? Terrible. Yeah, <laughs> I've never ever actually watched any of the Halo movies because <laughs> one of the kids were talking about like there's Ford onto Dawn, which is like the uh, quintessential um, video game movie that's out there right now, but yeah. that was a fan-made movie mm -hmm. that went to Netflix and it actually was really popular. People really liked it. Yeah. I mean, especially like all those like meta um, teens that only know obscure things. Mm -hmm. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to go see The Nice Guys. It looks pretty good. Cool. It's based in the 70s and it's basically kind of like the mob trying to infiltrate the uh, LA area. Yeah. Cool. That'd be neat. I'll go check it out. I'll tell yeah. you how it is. Sweet. ASAP, what are you going to do this again? I need to practice the piano. I'm finally getting a piano soon. Oh, yeah. sweet. It's on its way at my home, so really? I start practicing. Really good. Yeah. When's it supposed to get there? Should be there uh, probably, hopefully, uh, sometime next week. Cool, is that? So we'll see. I finally. I so happy. Yay! Yeah. Well, I'm going to work and just hang out this nice. weekend. Oh, yeah. and it, tomorrow is our last uh, animation yes, drop-in. Mm -hmm. But, of course, it's not officially last animation drop. This is like a party day. This is for all the parents who have dropped off their kids with us for the last, like, nine months. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, there, there are a lot of kids that have been there. From the beginning, mm -hmm. there's PJ, Ben, mm -hmm. um, I mean, I'm sure there's a couple Colin. kids here. Colin, yeah, those three kids were our solid kids forever. Yeah. Everyone else was just kind of like in and out. There are a couple mm -hmm. of solid kids. I think Jack and Mason really started getting into it the last two months. Yep, yeah, yeah. But so it's been a good, it's, it was our first trial run. We had never done it before, and it was very successful. Mm -hmm. Very and uh, we hope to show you a couple of the examples of this video of their videos um, throughout the throughout the summer as yeah. well uh, as long uh, as well as talking about our summer camps that are happening this summer. And um, good news, um, there are ten kids in our zombie workshop. Yes, already. woo, good. They're, we're capping at twelve, a, right? Yeah, we're capping at twelve. Good. Um, we, um, Joel just texted me the other day, and he said we, he rearranged some kids for the animation. So we are having the additional animation camp. Which which is yep. a week-long camp from one to five for kids. And this is a... Uh, um, so well, do we know the dates? Yes, it's okay, the week good. after. So it's oh, going to be an okay. intense July for us. Okay, yes. It's Especially be... the last week of uh, July, be... which, you know, the zombie camp is an all-day camp. It's a nine-to-fiver. So it's going to be three weeks of yes. uh, camp in a row? Yep. Do we have three weeks in a row of camps? Yeah, it's wow. only because uh, July 4th is on a Monday, mm -hmm. which really affects the week... Um, before the first week in July yeah. and also the last week in June. So oh, just, wow. so we have that two week gap out. We have that two week ga gap after June. So we have the June camp, which are wildlife. We're still mm -hmm. we have room in there. We basically have room in most of our camps. But you know the zombie workshop is filling up, and that's for ages thirteen to eighteen, roughly. Mm -hmm. it's, it's teenagers. It's a teen camp, and it's 
Um, hopefully, um, it's going to have uh, professional makeup d work done by uh, Rootheads Studios. Mm -hmm. We're going to be paying yeah. them to come down and doing some of the makeup for zombie stuff. And they did some really good stuff. I'll show you some of their stuff. It's kind of uh, disturbing. Cool. Uh, Great. The, the teens are going to love it. The teens are going to love it. But that's, that's it. Should be good. It'll that's be me a good just summer. constantly commercializing our um, uh, yeah. camps. Even though it's our camps, we can promote what what we have all we want because mm -hmm. it's ours. Yeah, I'm excited. It's me. gonna be it's gonna be not just you, Scott. Me. No. Yeah. Well. You. Back to me. <laughs> 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 okay. Now we're gonna get into events because I'm about time. Yeah. Okay, you guys. So what I have for Friday, this is what's going on for your children, and then we've got music for this evening. So starting at 9 a.m. over at Parent Yoga, or Peaceful Heart Yoga, they've got their Parent Yoga. It's a relaxing, casual environment where you can relax, stretch, and develop strength without having to find childcare. It's a great idea. Over at the Missoula YMCA, they've got family fun time at 9.30. This is uh, for parents and children alike. Parents get to chill out on some nice comfy chairs and then kids will, you know, get crazy and run around and they've got hockey and basketball and bounce houses and everything you can imagine and hope to tire your child out. Tiny Tales is at the Missoula Public Library at 10.30. This is for babies uh, ages birth through three years. They sing songs, they learn finger plays and hear nurse rhymes. Family story time is also at the Missoula Public Library. That is on the Dragon Rug. Um, this includes songs and an art activity. It starts at 10:30. Oh yeah! Before I go, I just want to. Well, this is a belated birthday um, uh, um, to my niece who just oh. turned two last oh. Sunday. So happy birthday, Danica! Happy birthday, Danica, little cutie! And as she would say, yes. <laughs> really? She's cute. Do you love yeah. her? Mm -hmm. she's, she's quite a sweet girl. She's afraid of me now, only because I pretend to be a monster sometimes. But like, <laughs> but I like like a scary monster. Kids love like, that. Uh, yeah, and she's like... Kind of like Young Frankenstein. I pretend to be Young Frankenstein. Yeah. Young Frankenstein's monster, not um, Gene Wilder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you pretend to be Gene Wilder? Well, Gene Wilder at the end of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you gotta watch it. Spoiler! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, over at Roots Acro Sports Center, they've got their preschool play group. This is uh, every single day, Monday through Friday. Uh, at 11, it's $8 to drop in, $12 for siblings. It's for ages walking to five years. And they set up different activities and stations around the gym, and parents and children get to rotate and choose what they want to do. We've got our rice table at the Children's Museum of Missoula at 11. Also at 11 over at Spectrum Discovery area. They've got uh, their discovery bench is liquid nitrogen gemos. And the brain lab is fruity fly taste tests. That was quite a mouthful. <laughs> okay, over there at the Montana Natural History Center, uh, starting at 2 p.m. is Endangered Species Day celebration. Um, so you can learn about monarch butterflies. You can help plant a garden of their favorite food and tour the center. You can also learn about other danger, endangered species. Um, but it kind of seems like monarchs are going to be their main focus today. <laughs> so here's the schedule. Uh, it's going to be plant, milkweed, and learn about monarchs. Uh, free admission, and they are also going to be learning about the monarch butterfly population trends, conservation in your backyard. Cool. Over at the Public Library at 3.30, we've got our teen writers group. This is uh, for teens who, you know, want some feedback or want a place to go and you know, play some games and eat some chocolate. Over at the Missoula Butterfly House and Sectarium, they're feeding that crazy tarantula, Rosie the Chilean Rose Hair Tarantula, starting at 4. At the Public Library, they've got Intro to Java Programming for Teens, the ages 13 to 18. Um, and you can call 721-2665 to sign up. All right, and that's what we've got for your children's activities. Up next, we've got music for the evening and night. Uh, at 6 p.m. over at Montana Distillery is Bases Covered. Traditional Irish music is also at 6 at the Union Club. Uh, the Boys Rock Camp performance is going to be at Top Hat Lounge at 6. So the Boys Rock Camp is for ages boys ages 8 to 15. It's, uh, they have it at the Zootown Arts Community Center. And so the boys get together, they form a band, they write songs, and then they perform them 
perform them. So they're going to be performing them at the Family Friendly Friday at the Top Hat. Yep, and the Zootown um, Arts Community Center puts it on, and mm -hmm. they started off with a all-girls rock camp, And but it was so popular the boys were just like, hey, what about us? Yeah. Because you know, boys already do that anyways, because when I was in high school, there's about a handful of, uh, like, I would say probably about 10% of the boys in my high school were in a rock band. We're in a rock band? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Totally, and it was really successful with the girls. Yeah, well, look. and so the boys, and so the boys are playing tonight, and I'm very curious. I, I'm sure they're going to be good. Yeah, because I there's like great. virtually no girls who are interested in doing rock camps or any yeah. rock bands when I was in high school at all. I'm really glad it's really starting to come out there, and a lot of the girls are starting to do a lot of their own stuff. Even though most of the they learn songs, already popular songs, mm -hmm. in which they perform. Yeah. So yeah. that's what you can expect tonight at the Top Hat at six. Well, they write their own songs. Yeah, well, well, I'm pretty, like, last time I saw them, they usually wrote, covered, they covered yeah, a lot of songs. Yeah, it says they wrote their own songs, learned to play their instruments, and are performing live. Huh? So it might be a mix of, like, covers and their own songs. Probably. Maybe if they couldn't come up with anything. Yeah. It really depends. I mean, it's really hard to, you know, have the, like, the right inspiration. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. But uh, we're moving on to the rest of the evening events. So Aaron Buzzes is going to be playing at the Highlander Tap Room at 6 p.m. That's a Montana Brewing Company yeah. out on Reserve Street. And if you guys haven't been there, I just went there the other day, and it's awesome. It's got a great atmosphere. It's got this really nice outdoor place. And it's state of the art, too. Yeah. The beer is good. The food is good. It's a great place. If you guys haven't been out there, yeah. I highly suggest Because if, if you guys don't have, haven't had Highlander beer, Highlander beer is one of those, like, really, like, a lot of people love that kind of beer. Like, well, back when I was a drinker, Highlander beer was my beer of choice, and it, it's like a, a not as dark um, cold smoke, mm -hmm. but it was nice and smooth. Well, also the good thing, a neat thing about Highlander is the Highlander Brewing Company was the first brewing company in Missoula, and it was actually over by. It was off um, Brooks, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. It was over by like the North Side area and the train tracks and where like Greeno Park is. They took, oh. they removed it to make room for the interstate. Yeah, they, 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 they yeah. They, I think they did the same thing with the uh, Mon Missoula Brewing Company because mm -hmm. they had a Missoula Brewing Company. That's the same thing. It's the Montana Brewing Company Highlander. Oh, but they were on Brook Street, though. No. They made way for, uh, you know, Brook, widening Brook Street because uh, they tore down a lot of the buildings because they wanted to make um, that road wider, huh. you know, and especially in the area past Rose Park, you know, when it's four lane. I wonder if we're still, talking like, about the right same now. thing, but one of us is wrong. Yeah, I, I think are. one of us is definitely wrong <laughs> for sure. So but I could have sworn it was off 93. And I thought, 93 is still technically a highway. Yeah. 93 and Brooks are the same road. Okay, and I always thought that it was nestled up against the mountains, just below Waterworks, and they had to remove it to make room for the interstate. Hmm. Yeah, in the 60s. We're going to look it up we're and we're going to let you guys we'll, know. We'll, we'll let you know. Because I feel like there was only I one brewing sure. company. But, you know, we're, we're, I, I, I'm somewhat right because it's still based on the highway, too. Oh, God, Scott. Okay, anyway. I'm somewhat right okay, because okay. it's still just, based on the highway. Okay, okay, just continue this. We'll, 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 Did you guys we'll hear finish that? this later. We'll finish Did this later. Did you guys hear that? I hope everyone heard that. Yeah. Uh, Scott, just admit you may be wrong and I may be wrong. It's all good. <laughs> There's nothing wrong about it. He'll never admit it, but I'll admit it for him. Okay, so over at the Eagles Lodge, the Ruins are going to be playing at 8 p.m. Uh, and then at the Sunrise Saloon, Showdown is playing at 9.30. The Union Club, Mudslide Charlie, is also playing at 9.30. And at the Top Hat Lounge, Lockstar Cartel is playing at 10. And they're awesome. Yeah. I I've, love Lockstar Cartel. I've sure. heard that they're pretty good. So that's what's going on here Friday night. Uh, we're switching gears, and we're going to Musical Notes with ASAP at 09. Well, first, before I... Uh do our story. I just wanted to say that in 1878, a man named William R. Featherstone, not the tire guy, <laughs> but William R. Featherstone wrote the famous hymn, My Jesus, I Love Thee. I just thought that's a neat piece of trivia. So if people want to look him up, remember there's a, the, there's a, the tire guy, but no, we're not talking to him. This was 1878. <laughs> yeah. Okay. When Polly's in trouble, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go. And there on my right, there he is. <laughs> the one and only known to the world as underdog. When villains threaten, shoeshine boy would go into a telephone booth and transform into the caped costume hero, destroying the booth. <laughs> in the process when his superpowers were activated. So, here is Sweet Polly Purebred, and this is Shoeshine Boy, and you've heard me play this song. Remember 
first song? A singer named Patti Page made that song famous in real life before this cartoon came out. The name of the song is called, Oh Where Has My Little Dog Gone? So by the time they put it in this cartoon, they called it the underdog song, Oh Where, Oh Where Is My Underdog Gone? And Sweet Polly would sing that song when she gets in trouble. Now this villain here, his name is Riff Raff. He's a gangster. And of course this cartoon had other um, gangsters like Simon Bar Sinister <laughs> and Electric Eel. He was this guy that could like shoot lightning out of his fingers and Batty Man. They just, they were just these little silly bad guys. But Sweet Polly was this television reporter like yourself, Noel, and so she'd get in trouble with these bad guys and there's Underdog about to take off in flight to save the day. Now Underdog is an animated television series. It debuted in 1964 on NBC. It was sponsored by a company called General Mills and I just find that interesting. Anyway, um, there's the logo there for the Underdog show. Also, um, there were 124 episodes of this cartoon and what they did, they would show the first segment of an underdog cartoon, then they would put another segment like Tennessee Tuxedo or um, Commander McBrag. He was the guy that bragged, you know, like he could like take a toothpick and save the world from bad guys. It was a silly little thing. They'd have two segments and then they'd put the third segment, I mean the fourth segment of underdog to complete it so that the following week it would pick up. So when you heard the narrator say, stay tuned for our show next week, you literally had to wait a week at that time. And this, this cartoon was seen in 100 countries around the world when it first came out. Underdog is the first cartoon in the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade to ever, you know, fly straight to get more airtime. And of course, this cartoon was going on in the 70s and the political correct movement was starting because the underdog would take a pill. So all of a sudden they went after poor underdog after everything they did and it was sad, silly. And my final words, in um, 2007 a movie came out and there it is, the underdog, the movie. It had Jim Belushi and Taylor Momsen, the little actress that played Cindy Lou Who with Jim Carrey and the Grinch. So I just wanted to have fun and go back in time. This is a fun cartoon I watched. Finally also this actor, his name was Wally Cox, he's the one that voiced underdog. He had a show called Mr. Peepers, and that was fun. And the final picture, this was Joe Harris, the creator of Underdog. He's the cartoonist that drew this. So your audience can look it up and cool. have fun with Underdog. That's neat, Asa. Thank you. Nice. Um, and that, how old were you when you were watching this? Were you like a little oh, kid? Oh gosh, yeah, I must have been about nine, maybe, yeah. something mm -hmm. like that. It Cute. was just a fun cartoon. Yeah, that's awesome. And the movie's cool too, if you get to see it. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I hope it's not bad. No, it's pretty cool, that's actually. It has, um, what's his face in it? That's the Jim bad guy? That, the the, the one midget guy from Game of Thrones? Yeah. Uh, oh, and, and Patrick Burton is the tall guy that plays Cad. You know, the actor oh, I can't on, remember uh, his name for the life of me. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. I don't about. know. Yeah, I he was the bad guy. He was a little, he he's done so many different roles. He yeah. he, he does whatever he, he they let him do now. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he does whatever around. he can get. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay, so of course uh, I'm going to show you guys an art clip, and the significance of this art clip is that it'll this um, art installation is by the Hellgate High School, and it will end on uh, next Thursday, oh. the 26th. So um, this is your last chance to really go check it out this next week.
you guys, we are back. This is what's going on in the community on Saturday. Oh. Um, oh my God. Uh, never mind. That's not what's going on in your community on Saturday because apparently my document did not save and I do not have the rest of my things. Wow. We can just... That's a bummer. Yeah, let me just pull this up for you guys. <laughs> oh, technology these days. Okay, you, so... You know, you, you know. I'll just give you... I know, everything is pretty... I've read everything through, so yeah, I kind of know. If you don't know already by now, uh, you should... Or the farmer's market is going on Saturday. It always starts like at 8 a.m. Yeah, so the Missoula Farmer's Market is People's going on market, at, at 8 a.m. It is uh, at the Red X's. We've got our Clark Fork Market over at Karis Park at 8 a.m. as well. And then the People's Market is in is on Pine Street, and that starts at 9. Yeah, so um, all you really got to do is you go out downtown, uh -huh. On Saturday between 8 and 1 walk around and you'll see a whole bunch of people three congregating of yeah. at three different places where they can get food snacks and all sorts of good stuff. yeah produce you can mm -hmm. get like gifts clothing pillowcases everything you want uh, yeah, yeah. The, the one up on um, near the Red X's up on, on up Higgins yep is Red where X's. Nor northern Higgins mm -hmm. is where you can find all fresh um, produce. Um, People's Market is just on Pine Street, like where the Thomas Mar Bar is now. They used to be across the street, but now they're there. It's weird. They're just kind of putting. They're just kind of shifting around. I don't really know what's going on with that. It's because they're trying to build that art park. Yeah, I think the Missoula um, Art Museum is trying to build the art park, so they're moving the People's Market across the street, um, over like in between the bus station and the Oxford yeah. and the Mar Bar. But yeah, so that that's like that's knickknacks. Yep. Mm -hmm. Or you can buy shirts, um, all like Montana brand um, stuff. Mm -hmm. Basically, stuff you wear like um, Montana made leather stuff. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, um, you can always go down to under the bridge and do some trolling at uh, from produce. But also, they serve um, food there. They're yeah, the Clark Fork Market is like produce. It's breakfast, and then sometimes they sell like goods and knickknacks as well. Yes. Every now and then, but yeah, it's kind of like more it's, produce and breakfast. Yeah, and the Bookmobile Meal parks there too. Yeah. Uh, there are a couple other things going on. There's an electronic recycling collection day over at Opportunity Resources starting at 8. So if you got some electronics you don't know what to do with and don't want to smash, you just bring it in there and they'll give you some <laughs> money for it. Um, or you can give them to the Girls Rock and Roll Camp. Well, no, it's not a Girls Rock and Roll Camp. It's a Girls Rock and Roll. It's at Kearns Aquatic Center at 9. And they're going to be talking about and learning things about my mountain climbing. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's completely wrong. Yeah, completely different. Yeah. Um, family fun time is at Mismo Gymnastics at 9. Uh, let's see. We've got, oh, over at CS Porter, they've got... Cars, crafts, and concertos uh, sale. Huh. So yeah, so it's like a show as well as a sale. You can buy vintage stuff there. Cool. Uh, there's a chess tournament at Missoula <laughs> International School starting at 9:30. There is over at Ruby's Inn and Convention Center. They've got a uh, Missoula doll, toy, teddy bear miniatures show and sale. So all the dolls and teddy bears your child could want, you can buy there. Let's see, what else is going on? Doll show? Yep, that's what I just talked about. Hmm. Uh, over at the Missoula Art Museum, they're doing color woodcut class. It starts at 11. You can learn how to print things using woodcuts, carving into wood, and then painting them, and then pressing them down, and then carving away some more. Pretty cool. I like it. Yeah. Uh, family story time is at the Missoula Public Library at 11. Outdoors fest, is, Outdoors fest is at Bonner School at 11 as well. Hmm. And it's pretty much what it says. They're celebrating all of the things outdoors. The Outdoors fest. Pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, over at Missoula Butterfly House and Insectarium, they're creating a seasonal bug calendar. So you can make different, uh, you know, months of the year. And then you can follow along with what arthropod goes with that month. That's so cute. Um, let's see. Okay, we'll talk about some music tonight. Uh, well, there's a wine tasting live music by David Boone at Ten Speed Vineyard and Winery at four. Bass is covered is playing again at the Highlander Tap Room at six. John Floridas is playing at the Lolo Peak Brewing Company at six. Harden Scott Band will be at Imagination Brewing Company at six p.m. George Winston is a Mizzou, is a Montana native and a renowned pianist. He'll be at the Wilma Theater at eight. Uh, absolutely with Chris Moon will be at the Badlander at 9. There is a movie cult at the Roxy Theater at 9 called The Dark City. 
Uh, Super Dirt will be at the Dark Horse at 9.30. Tom Catmull and Radio Static will be at the Union Club at 9.30. Sunrise, uh, at the Sunrise Saloon, 406 will be at nine, there at 9.30. And then Ted Ness and the Rusty Nails with the Top Hat Lounge at 10. Cool. Yeah, that's what's going on in your community. As always, you can check out MissoulaEvents.net, University of Montana's website, The Independent and the Missoulian for more events. Exactly. Sure. Yeah. Are there, are there any events that you're excited for? Or are you um, just... I'm just excited for Mudslide Charlie tonight and uh, Ted Ness and Rusty Nails tomorrow. Yeah, I just want to listen to music and dance. It's a good time. I'm definitely yeah. going to go check out Lock Talk Cartel for a little bit. Are you? Because they're always such a good band. It's a female lead singer. Nice. They're kind of like a funky... like they're. It's like a young Jones End cool. type of band. Nice. That's cool. Yeah. Even though Jones End definitely has some awesome pipes on her. Yeah, Jones End rocks. No. But anyways, uh, it is Friday, and as for every Friday, we do Flagship Friday, and inspired by um, Mary Poppins, although one of the kids were in Mary Poppins, the play itself, he wanted to do his own movie um, parodying Mary Poppins called Mary Poppins. <laughs> so without further ado, here's um, C.S. Porter's Mary Poppins. Should do this homework themselves. They bloody well should, don't they? Ha ha! You have to stay behind and do homework. It's a lot. I hate you. Oi! 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 What was that for? I hate that kid. Math literacy? Who can even understand this kind of stuff? Nobody that's living, of course. What are we gonna do about it? I have no idea. Yeah. Hey, Pip, chill out. What the hell? What's that? What is that? What is wrong with this tray? There's nothing here. Hmm. What's going on here? I don't see anything no under it. Hmm. Poupons. Now then, both of these. I heard your cry for help. Now what are we going to be do about this predicament? Hmm? Ooh. <gasps> ah! You shouldn't be opening this. You know what? You hold this. Hmm, this homework, huh? What are we going to do about it? We're going to study hard and we're going to have fun! Yeah. It's so hard to concentrate. You need to work hard! You need to believe in yourself! All you need is a sugar cube a day. But you need a sugar cube. I guess you shouldn't give a kid with ADHD sugar cubes. Don't give a kid with ADHD a nice big sugar cube. What's going on? Um, giving sugar, sugar cubes to people? I heard singing and I wanted to be involved. Well, I guess you could. 
if you really wanted to, but you must believe in yourself. I believe. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Now, can you two please explain who I am and what's going on? I've completely forgot his name. His name is Mary Poppins. And it's Poupons. Okay, whatever. Anyway, do you have bad grades? No, I'm an honor roll student. And stay out! I was rude. umbrella. There was the Mary Poupons. That was very funny. That was very inspirational. <laughs> and that movie did inspire a sequel, which you guys will never see. Why? As long as I'm alive, because it was just terrible. It's just bad. It wasn't even funny. I hope these kids know that I just don't like sequels, because I told them I don't like sequels. That's why they wanted to do a sequel. Uh, I, lo uh, I, I love them sequels. I go let them go off. And they're like, you guys can do a sequel, but you have to do it in your own group, because I'm not doing it with you. So they wanted to do their own group, and it was just as like, what's going on? There was a scene where they pulled a kid out of like a bag, <laughs> and um, even though like the scene, like almost like the, while the whole scene, while he's looking through the bag, the kid's like standing right behind him the whole time, just kind of like. Ugh. It's like are you, and it's like you do know that kid was like right behind you. You the couldn't whole time. even get the kid out of the shot. <laughs> <You> can, <laughs> That's hilarious. You want to get the kid out of the bag, you have to make sure he's not in the shot. Yes, because <laughs> he's supposed to be in the bag, not behind the All person right. that's looking for him in the bag. I think that about does it for Wake Up Missoula. And luckily for you guys, you don't have me to send you guys off on piano. Yes. But without further ado, it's actually uh, a professional. Yep. <laughs> I can't wait for you to be wrong about Missoula Brewery Company. Anyways, um, uh, so uh, for Wicked, I'm not claiming I'm right or so, wrong. So uh, if you want to find out more information about Wicked Missoula, you can log on to our website, wickedmissoula.wix.com slash wickedmissoula. You can go to our Facebook page, Wake Up Missoula. You can also like, a, I mean, follow us on Twitter at Wake Up Missoula. You can like Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. You can also like us on Facebook and to find out more information about us, check us out on MCAT.org. Yes, but of course, if you want to come on our show to talk about an upcoming um, concert, rally, cause, uh, event, you can call us at 542-6228, otherwise known as 542-MCAT. You can also email us, MCAT at MCAT.org, if you're too scared. And of course, you can go to our uh, Wake Up Missoula um, webpage, and you can contact us there, and we're pretty good about getting back to you guys, especially if you do contact with us via Facebook, Twitter. There's multiple ways of getting in contact with us, and we want to hear from you, because we are about Missoula, and we want to hear you guys talk about what you guys are doing here in Missoula. But without further ado, um, for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramp. Also for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Noel McFoy. Here's ASAP Adonai.